I'm Brittany City and welcome to my channel. So if you are new here, stumbled across because you're interested in Vlogmas, I chat about tech, fashion, and lifestyle. And if you are one of my subscribers, hey y'all, I've missed y'all so, so much. Like life has been crazy. Like grad school is very difficult. And just grad school, working, teaching and tech coding classes in the afternoons I've enjoyed it all but it has really really taken me away from YouTube and I've hated that um, but I am excited to be back for vlogmas like this is my first year doing YouTube so I have to do vlogmas right um, and I've seen a couple of people do their own variation of vlogmas I've seen Hilo Lux she's doing like Luxmas um, people are kind of doing their own thing and this will definitely be like my own thing I am excited and I know that this would just help me get back into the swing of things and get back to you all with YouTube so today with vlogmas day one I am going to kick it off with my November favorites and these are things that I've just loved this whole month of November and um, I know that there'll be things that I will continue to love um, the rest of the fall winter time um, so I thought this would be really helpful for you all as well um, but before I begin make sure that you hit that like button that subscribe button all the good stuff if you're interested in this type of content I hope to see you around for the rest of vlogmas and um, I am going to be doing a lot of cool content to this vlogmas I must say so um, you don't want to miss that so hit that notification bell too so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video um, but I have my November favorites on my phone so let me pull it up okay so to kick start I'm gonna chat about Farfetch that's my number one favorite for this month of November there was actually a um, what was that it was like singles day it's some holiday that's probably like a UK holiday or something I'm not even aware of it but there was a great sale and then they also had the Black Friday sale but I highly recommend just downloading their app staying involved with them because there will be tons of sales to come um, but on Farfetch I did purchase this marine sear top and I had it in a tank style in the past um, priced around 230 this was priced very similarly um, and I love it and I definitely want to get the brown long sleeve the black long sleeve like every single variation because I love it um, it is great for layering I actually wore it to an event and I'll post a picture over here but I wore it to an event layered with um, a vest and I thought that was really cool so I, and I've seen people layer it with like t-shirts and tons of different things so um, I really like that and oh my gosh I'm just now realizing I don't have my microphone in the camera hold on oh wow you know I ain't been YouTubing for a while for me to forget my microphone like who does that um, but I just want the sound to be great for you guys so um, like I was chatting about Farfetch love them um, but I will say and I've had different people kind of ask me about like what exactly is Farfetch um, there are different um, they may be boutiques different suppliers sources vendors different things that have these certain items and so if you were to click on an item like this top um, there will be different prices that may differ based on the size it may differ based off of where the item is coming from so um, you can dig around a little bit and maybe see a cheaper price for the same item but with that um, and there has been a huge like supply chain crisis of course everybody knows about that by now but I did order a rustling Baginski have you pronounce it the Baker boy hats that everyone's wearing I ordered a super cute one like with the chain and everything and I'm still heartbroken about it because they ended up um, I waited like weeks like maybe two or three weeks and they sent me an email saying that we've refunded you and I was like I don't even want you to refund me I want my hat like I will continue to wait because their website was a two week wait as well so it's just taking forever to get those hats right now um but from Farfetch, I was successful in getting this top, which I love. And I was successful in getting these Chloe rain boots, the Betty rain boots in green. Now, I will say I thought that I was ordering them in black. And there was a whole thing like on my Instagram story. I was like, okay, y'all, should I keep them or not? But I actually got them for such a deal. Like 
three something and these are like five something boots I think so um the green is really dark and so it's not even like I feel like I can still style it the way I would some black boots maybe um but so far I've styled them kind of in a fall type of fit with like jeans and a orange sweater so kind of staying in the line of it being green I haven't styled it like pretending it's black yet um but definitely thinking about like wearing some black tights like my black gucci tights and a black sweater like an all black look with the boots totally can do that um people have asked about the fit i would say they're true to size like i got my actual size i wear a nine and i'm pretty sure i got a nine but i will say that these are um rubber boots so i can't like promise you that they're gonna fit the way that some uggs would fit or like some super cozy shoes would fit because this is a full rubber shoe so like it's not given it's not going anywhere it's gonna be pretty stiff um and when you walk and move you're gonna kind of feel that so i probably wouldn't wear these um if i know i'm gonna be walking a lot these wouldn't be my boots of choice um but oh my gosh i just realized these other boots i'm going to show y'all i'll have to show y'all another down vlogmas because i'm not going to get those yet but um farfetch that was one of my number one faves for november next is fendi skims now i can't remember like when fendi skims even came out or when i got it but i feel like i got it this month it's all been a blur y'all i promise you like all these months all these days it's been a blur but i will say i love this fendi skim stuff so i have a bodysuit in this brown color which kind of reminds you of this so i was kind of like oh i wish i would have got this top in black after i ended up getting this but no biggie um and then i also got this beautiful beautiful purplish pinkish color and i love it love it love it and i will say these fit true to size um i got an extra large i typically wear extra largest up top and i got it and it fits very similar to this um i will say that this is a softer material um sorry I will say that this is a softer material this marine sear shirt is softer um a little stretchier this i put on my stories that it feels like a rain jacket and it does it kind of has that bathing suit type of feeling you may can swim in it it has definitely that scuba um water resistant type of feel to it um, which is a little odd but it's not like uncomfortable so I don't mind it and I'll definitely keep the items and I hope that they release some again I saw that they were doing like a wait list so they may be um, coming back out I hope so um, next thing that's my favorite is the YSL Libre perfume now I am a tied and true like my bestie is the Chanel chance love 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 that perfume um, I know that it's becoming very popular very common everybody's got it but I don't care I love it why change something that's just perfect like it's working for me I love it love it love it um, and I actually ran out so I've had a bottle since it's probably been about a year a little over a year that i've had the bottle and i'm like officially out um and my boyfriend bought me that bottle so i'm kind of like maybe he can buy me the other bottle <laughs> so i haven't bought it but i um have been wearing my ysl libre a little bit more than usual because i am out of that um and i just recently like started venturing out to different perfumes and i will say to me i still love the chance like i wouldn't say this is like oh my gosh i love this perfume this is my my like number one now but i get so many compliments like people like i'm not, I'm not kidding every single time i wear that perfume someone's like oh somebody smell good 
oh you smell so good oh what is that you have on oh you smell so good like i'm not kidding so many people men women like everyone so um i would recommend that to y'all uh, i'm not sure if it, you would consider it to be a fall winter fragrance like i'm not super into that kind of thing i'm gonna wear what smells good <laughs> no matter the day the time the season but um if that's something that you're into or you're looking for some new perfumes i would highly recommend that and um, it comes in a variety of sizes so there's a smaller size that you can get without like committing to a larger size pretty sure i purchased mine on um, sephora at sephora but i will link it below places that you can find it like macy's different places but um highly recommend that's one of my faves this month I put on my list some Zara Bottega dupes and I will show the photo right here. I actually wore the green soles to an event I wear with this top and I love those shoes y'all. They're so comfortable. They are, um, they range around $150 and they're real leather. The upper is real leather. The sole, um, pretty sh I want to say it's plastic. I'm not sure, but it feels like plastic looks like plastic, but it might not be. Um, I'm not sure but i love the shoe so much and so i got it in the green sole for my outfit and like what i had in mind and then i just loved it so much i went ahead and bought the black sole as well and these are like great 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 bottega dupes especially if you're a person like me where you want something inspired dupe but you don't want it to be like a complete replica dupe if that makes sense like i wanted to still give me that inspired look and the look for less but not necessarily copy and paste from another designer that's just me personally sometimes how i feel about dupes so um i think that that would be a great boot to have like i love them love them love them next up on my list is this clear amazon bag um i went to a titans game earlier in the beginning of the month in in nashville like at our stadium you have to have a clear bag um but i mean it's also fashion like some people carry clear bags and i had never carried a clear bag before or purchased one got this off of amazon y'all look at this I mean it's a complete chanel dupe like the chain is so cute the lining everything so so cute and it was like thirty dollars thirty dollars and i have a lot of different um little mini chanel items like the compact mirror or the lotion or lipsticks or different things and i mean you can just fill it in here and accessorize um like with a card holder tons of ways you can just really deck this out i've seen people wrap wrap um scarves around it or even put an actual bag in this bag like i might can fit even like if you were into that like this wallet on chain in this bag love 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 it you can adjust it change these straps around and make it crossbody longer shorter i wore it both ways at the um basketball at the football game um so i would highly highly recommend like i love 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 this there were um different colors too they had white i think cream different things like that like with the lining on it love it love it love it next on my list not a super long list um next on my list is this ember mug i actually got this mug as a gift for speaking at a conference that has been something i've been doing a lot on um, these last couple of months as well as speaking at different tech conferences about my transition to tech and um any just guidance and help for other people interested in transitioning to tech so that's been really fun um and this was actually a gift i received this mug is actually valued at like 120 or so i think i saw online um but there were some deals or are some deals right now for christmas where they're marked down but this mug is super cool because um you can plug in this hot plate and you can use your app on your phone and temperature control this mug so i'm not a coffee drinker i'm a tea drinker but if you're someone who like has to microwave your coffee or your tea or hot chocolate or anything because you let it sit for too long or you didn't drink it fast enough this is a great item for you because you can just keep it temperature controlled to exact temperature of your likeness on the app and it will be perfect to your liking always so like i thought this was really cool and i'm like a total nerd for tech 
products like home tech and like just items like that like home tech items um even pet tech any type of tech i think it's just so cool and just so futuristic and so i highly recommend this mug super cute and holding this right here is like so cute i i need to do my vlog and this intro i need to do like some other things like i i don't know why i've been planning from vlogmas for like the whole month of november part of october i was like oh yeah i'm doing vlogmas and i never thought about my intro video so now i'm looking i'm like kind of bummed like crap i don't have a real intro video and my christmas tree doesn't come until friday so this first week of vlogmas is going to be kind of just preparatory type of things and then we're gonna really dive into some Christmassy things um, this weekend and probably going into next week that's all my November favorites and I really want this vlogmas to be very interactive so please leave me some comments below of any ideas and anything that you would like to see this vlogmas any type of tech content um, I've had people mention some study with me some tech tutorials any type of fashion any type of lifestyle Christmassy festive types of things let me know in the comments and until tomorrow, next time, next video. See y'all later. Bye.